it's Ali and thank you for joining me today. So I'm back with my junk journal July and I'm doing pages 15 and 16 I think we are. Let me just double check. 13, yeah 15 and 16. I've finished that first signature so I'm working on my second signature now. So let me just get my sheet out. So for 15 I'm going to do pockets. So I'll just put 15 on there. Let's just find pockets. Uh, where are you? Pocket, pocket. There. 15 and 16 is collage. Uh, collage, 16. Okay. Right. Let's just put 16 on there. Then we don't get mixed up. So I thought I'd do pocket for 15 because I've got a single page at the front of the signature. So I thought it'd be a good way of just putting something on the page. So it's going to be a really, really easy pocket. And I'll just put my journal out the way. I've got a book page here. Well, it's actually an index from a vintage book. I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm doing it upside down so hopefully when I turn it up my, my uh, letters are the right way around. So fold it in half lengthways and then fold it up to the top. I'm sure you've seen this pocket before. Okay and then you fold this one back. Burnish. This one back. Burnish. This one back. And then what you can do is you can tuck them all under like so. And then you've got pocket there, pocket there, pocket there and a pocket there. So you've got one, two, three, four pockets. Okay, so that is it. Quick and easy pocket today. Um, I just thought it would be nice on that page on its own. So let's just put some ink around my pocket. Just open it out and put some ink on the pieces that we've folded okay right let's put some glue on these little pieces here uh, where's my glue keep them down that's my first flap down and then this one Pulling them down and then i'm going to glue this one down as well and then we've got four nice pockets i'm going to put glue i think I'm, i would have stitched this but my machine's not got any bobbing in at the moment so I'll just glue it for now put some glue down the side there let me just get a tissue and just get rid of that glue and then I'm going to put a bit of glue down this side here and that is my pocket to go onto my page so that's my page there, so let's glue this pocket down then. Stick it there. And then I'm going to put my little label with pocket at the top. Yeah, I just thought with it being a single page, I was looking for something that I didn't need a lot of space for. So I thought that pocket will be ideal there. Right, let's get some stickers. Let's just put some stickers or something on these pockets. Um, we'll put a few little labels at the bottom. Uh, let's have a look what we've got. That one, that one. And that one. Just gonna tear off a little bit of this. bit of ink on there and then this one I think I'll put that 
one down first. On there, and then this piece. I'm not going to embellish it too much because there'll be stuff going in and out of the pockets the wrong way. And then this little label. Like that. I don't know if I've got a little sticker small enough to go on there. What have I got? Oh, I don't want shells on there, do I? Uh, let's see if one of these will be small enough. No, too big. Just looking if I've got a little sticker that I can just see. Oh, what's that? No, too big. Come on, I've got tons of little stickers in here. There must be one small enough to go on. What's that? Oh, no, it's a fan. I don't want a fan. No, they're all big stickers. that one let's put that on there let me just get me pokey tool uh, where are you pokey tool yeah that on there just then there's something and then i'm just going to put something on here i'm not going to make anything to go in the pockets for now i'm just going to leave them as they are just looking for that vintage car, I think that'll be nice. Let's pop that on. Might put one at the top as well. Something at the top pocket there. The nice them stickers because you, you can't see the white on the edges. Let's put something there. Uh, what's that? No. Um. No, it's a bit small. What's that one? There we go. Let's put that there, that vintage kind of sticker. Yep. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I have got tags and bits I could put in there, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Just leave my pocket like that. I think I'm just going to put a bit of glue at the top there just to keep that pocket down a little bit. So there we go. There's 15 pockets. Right. So 16 is collage, which will be really easy page. So I've just got some papers and I'm just going to stick and collage. I've just been into my scrap box ripped out some papers and I think I want straight edges on here so I'm just going to get my ruler and let's start ripping some straight edges and ink around them first I'm just going to do like a masterboard on my page all my pages are collaged really aren't they I've collaged every on every page so yeah and just happily glue away right let's start there on that page i do love collaging really love collage how's everybody doing today you all okay i've had my lunch i did a video this morning i had some lunch and i thought i'll just try and get another one done and then keep on top of my prompts if I can that bit with the stamp on oops yeah one of my favourite things to do is collaging I love that I love collage so let's put that there What else should we have? Some of this paper. I haven't picked it all to match. I've just picked some papers out, if I'm honest. Just got some scraps out my box. So we could just stick. <laughs> and use that one, that straight edge at the top. Uh, 
bit along there, perfect, yeah. Should get my glue stick out really, shouldn't I? Collaging. Okay, let's put that at the top up there. That fits nicely up there. And then some more paper. So this with the birds on. And a piece in the middle. Love that piece. going to stick some book pages and bits over the top I think let's just have a little bit down the bottom here just this little piece right that's that page covered like I said I'm going to stick some bits of book pages on as well I think I'm going to stick that on definitely got through some scraps doing this challenge definitely have which is a good thing the scrap box is nowhere near as full as it was when I started which is great okay let's do one a bit of green up there down with that butterfly on uh, two more little pieces a piece down here and then just a little piece down this side bit here let's just rip that see if I can rip that in half right so there's my background covered so now I want to just go over with some book pages and some other little bits of papers let's just move that out of the way let's just stick my collage label down Right, let's get some papers. Just got some book pages and bits here. I'm gonna ink over them when I've glued them down rather than sitting doing one by one. just think book pages add to your page I like using book pages oops I've put them in the wrong bin <laughs> putting them in the wrong basket my rubbish I'm putting it in with my stickers instead of in with the bin 
that is actually upside down and that would annoy me. I'm going to use some of this as well. Just going to rip some straight edges. up here and then I'm just going to stick some stickers or something over the background I think let me just get my um, brush just to ink over I've just got my big brush here just to go over my a piece never mind it'll be okay right let's have some stickers or whatever let's see what i've got in this one here first we'll go with just some big stickers i think just on the background now these aren't like the other vellum stickers these you can see the white so what i'll try and do is ink over them when i've stuck them on there's one let's have a clock prefer the vellum ones where you can't see the white come on cut into this one is that it yeah that's it i've done it clock let's put something up there um camera Oh, I don't want to stick it over the collage. Right, let's just see if my ink will go over this white. Oh, yes, it will. Just try and blend them into the background a bit, and then you can't see the edges of the white. I don't like that. Bit of glue on, I've ripped it there. I'm too heavy handed. Right, what else should I stick on there? I think I'm going to have one of these big. I don't want two on, I don't think. I think I might want her down there. Yeah, maybe two. One on each side. Let's do that. Go around here at the bottom there, and then this little girl. Put it down there, and then let's have a look what else I've got to stick on. Um, Sorry guys, I'm just in my little box of tricks here at the side. I don't think I want to stick too much more down, to be honest. Maybe a couple of butterflies, flower, fan. Let's 
have a look at them bits. Just stick these down. A nice fan there. I'm going to stick that at the top. Number one. I don't think I want to put much more on there. I think I've got enough on there. I think I've finished with that collage. Where should I put this? Um, put it there. Yeah, guys, I think I've finished. I think I've got enough on there. I think I'm happy with that little collage for today. So there we go then. We've got day 15 with my pocket. And day 16 with some collage. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've enjoyed playing about with those. Yeah, I really have. So as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Take care and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.